Their campus is beautiful and their students are making waves. Cumberland University is bucking the trend and has enrolled more students than ever before. That is right. We are joined by President Paul Sum and Reggie with Enrollment Services. How did you all do this? Well, you said our campus is beautiful. You failed That's to true. mention that our students are also beautiful, and, and particularly smart. our administrators. <laughs> but, uh, it's a win-win everywhere. It's a win-win. <laughs> yes. We primarily did it through our great relationship with Channel 2 and the advertising that we have there. Oh, thank but, you. Uh, we really have a great team of folks that have yeah. worked hard, led by Vice President Reggie Blair, but a committed group of faculty and staff who have really helped us succeed our goals. We set our goal really high this year and we exceeded it with over 3,000 students for the first time in our 182 years of existence. Wow. Now you guys say that you'll make lifelong friends and become part of a family, but what can parents and, and really students expect when they go to Cumberland University? I think they can expect a thriving community, a community that's dedicated to the student experience, and a community that they can be excited about. Faculty that will be engaged, staff members that really want to support them. And a great way for them to see that is to actually come on our campus and visit for our discovery days. So there are different vi uh, preview days that we have on Fridays on our campus. And students can go to our website at cumberland.edu slash visit and check those out and really see firsthand what the campus is all about. Mm. What I love is you have such a wide variety of programs of degree options. Educate our viewers about that. Yeah. Well, we do. We offer 83, I think it is, undergraduate majors, and we have 13 master's programs at the graduate level. And we've introduced several new ones this year, and that's at least in part responsible for our dramatic growth, 18.7% year over year in enrollment this year, which is almost too much, but we're managing it. <laughs> well, and you said you have students from 49 different countries? We do indeed. Almost every county in the great state of Tennessee, from 37, I think it is, of the 50 U.S. states, and 49 countries this year wow. on our campus. And that speaks volumes about the school um, in general. But Cumberland is committed to doing all that they can to ensure schooling is affordable. I want to talk about that because sometimes fi the financial aspect can really draw people away. But you, uh, financial aid is available. Mm -hmm. That's correct. We have a, fun, a phenomenal financial aid staff. About a quarter of our students are first generation students. And so many of them choose to take advantage of the Tennessee Promise program where they can actually come on campus and finish their associate's degree for free. Um, we also have students that are adult learners, some veterans, and we also have some non-traditional students that can come back to school after maybe taking some time away through the Tennessee Reconnect program and also finish their associate's degree for free. And then after those, they have continued program scholarship programs that we offer that hopefully they'll want to go and continue and, and finish a bachelor's degree as well. And this is the time of year where you have all these great school visits coming up. So can you kind of tell us where you'll be? And that way parents who are watching can think, you know, I may be going to check this out too with my child and sneak into school and, and learn more. <laughs> yeah, so we have a, a, a fantastic admission staff. So they're traveling all right now, like all around the great state of Tennessee, even outside of Tennessee. And so we pop up at different schools, at different college fairs. And you can actually see a list of those and where we'll be on our website as well under the visit section. That's awesome. Quick question. Why do you think, what is the main reason why children aren't applying to further their education? You know, I would say that first off, we've had more applications, more acceptances, and more enrollment this year than ever. So we really are experiencing a lot who are applying. I think COVID and the pandemic certainly set a lot of people back and gave them pause and think about what they want to do. But there's no question today, Laura, that the those who have an earned college degree, particularly a baccalaureate degree, their lifetime potential earnings are so much greater than those without. If you really, if, if, they, if they have the information, they're going to apply and try to go to college somewhere. And we hope they'll apply at Cumberland. If anyone is hesitant out there, maybe they're watching, what, what do you have to say? Reggie? I say give Cumberland a shot and we have record enrollment. We're going to continue that enrollment as well. We really want to grow. We want to continue to grow because we know that we can make a big impact on students if they choose to come and check us out and see what we have to offer. And they'll see that we're committed to making sure they're successful in what they want to do. And today, actually, this is a perfect day because today we're actually releasing decisions for the first wave of students for the fall 2024 wow. uh, term. So we're excited about that. That'll be later today. And I think what, what I do want to say as we wrap up is what I love about your campus, it feels like family. Every time I'm there, it's like it's a family and, and you embrace students. And as a parent, you look for that when you're looking for school. So Absolutely. there's my two cents worth. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank, thank you, you both. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you all. Plan your campus visit today. Visit cumberland.edu.